add something this time. Thought I was helping people. I guess, I guess not. pieces of equipment invested in a nice white jacket but they don't think I'm a doctor well that's a shame maybe maybe they're right maybe I'm not a doctor maybe I Hello? Hi there. Can I help you? Are you okay? Yeah, you seem a little flush. A little... Hello? Are you, are you with me? Yes, uh... Yes, I am a doctor. Uh, please give me just one moment to put down my things. Yes. Can I take a look at you? What... What seems to be the problem? Okay. I see. Uh, let me get my notebook. starting from the top. Uh, what is your name? And what seems to be the problem? Hmm, feeling dizzy, somewhat faint. Um, any Aches or pains? A little achy? A little confused? Dazed? Just confused? Any feverish or mm, feeling some, some chills? Okay. Mm, well, that's the opposite of fever, clearly. Well, tell me more. Get, is everything. You're not really even sure how you got here. I see. Well, that's quite troubling. Confusion. Well, it's okay. It's all right. I can help. That's what I've trained for. You can see, I'm, I'm a doctor. Uh, in fact, this type of thing is my specialty. So, uh, is there anything else that I should be aware of? Any allergies, any medication that you're taking, any medication that you're sharing, any medication that you're uh, currently in possession of? No. All right, well, there's always next time. Anyway, uh, I believe we should do a quick assessment of all of your general self. Uh, I will make sure that everything is going okay, and then we'll get to the bottom of this uh, faint, dizzy, achy, confused, chills, no fever, confused, very confused. That's what I've written down here. Does that sound right? You're not sure? Okay, that makes sense. All right, well, let me put this away. And before we begin, I just need a little bit of uh, what I've been... Oh, how rude. I'm so sorry. Would you like some? No? Okay, maybe later. Uh, all right, now, yeah. uh, I do want to uh, run a bit of a, a quick assessment on you, and I've been told the first thing to do is to check somebody's temperature, the patient. That's you, not me. 
uh, I will be checking your temperature. Now, I uh, do have a thermometer, and I'm pretty sure I left it over here, but I'm not seeing it at the moment. Uh, um, no, those are vitamins. Ah, here we go. Uh, here you are. Uh, no. <laughs> That's my pen. It was with my notebook. Right, of course. Uh, how silly of me. Um, oh, vitamins. Would you like some vitamins? No? Not yet? Okay. Maybe another time. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, no, no. Oh, how'd you get there? Oh, okay. Uh, I'll clean that up later. Uh, don't mind me. Everything's fine. Um, let's see, let's see. I think it maybe... Does this one work? sure if this one works or not. Uh, hmm. Yep, that's the thermometer right there. Okay, now, if you don't mind, I'm just going to place this right here. Thank you. So let's go ahead, and, go ahead and take that for just a moment. There you are. Okay, good. Excellent. All right. And we're just going to leave that under your tongue for an amount of time. And uh, eventually it'll tell us if you have a fever or not. Now, I know you said you had the chills, which means you're rather cold. Uh, that means that you're likely your fever is rather low, or rather your temperature, I should say, is rather low uh, in comparison to everybody else. I'm going to be guessing around 50 or 60 degrees, which is nothing to worry about when you have the chills. Your temperature tends to lower, and uh, you run a bit cold. Of course, everybody knows that we run about 100, 102 degrees as uh, you know, human beings, you and me. At least I assume you're a human being. I've been told to not make assumptions, so I guess I should have asked that up front. Are you a human being? You are. Excellent. Well, that's good news. Uh, I'm glad that we've been uh, talking human to human, as it were. Uh, now, uh, that thermometer is going nice and steadily, but I do also want to check out some of your other things. You noticed that uh, you said you were feeling rather dizzy. Um, and a little confused. That leads me to think that maybe there's something going on in the facial area, the brain, head, mind spectrum. So uh, I'm going to take I'm going to take a little pointer, and I'm going to just point to different areas throughout the space. And I just want you to follow this pointer with your eyes. Don't move your head if you can. Uh, just follow it with your eyes. All right. So I'm going to bring the pointer up very high. Good. Any trouble with doing that? Good. Good. Now I'm switching hands and I'm bringing the pointer over here. Any trouble following the pointer? You're having trouble following the pointer. Why do you think that is? You can't see the pointer. What? You can't see the pointer at all anymore. Hmm. How about now? Now? Interesting. How many fingers am I holding up? How about now? Now? That one a number? How many fingers am I holding up now? How about now? How about now? All right. Well, your ability to count at least to the number five seems to be intact. Your ability to follow the pointer well, we're not all perfect, I suppose. <laughs> now, uh, let's see. You mentioned you were dizzy, you mentioned you were a little bit confused, you mentioned that there was something going on that you needed to take care of. Uh, now, let me think. If I were in your position, and I was confused and a little bit dizzy and came stumbling into a random space looking for a doctor, uh, what would I do? I would probably sit down. We should probably have you sit down. Um, would you like to sit down? Good. Good. Uh, how about you just close your eyes for a moment. Uh, close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And relax. Just try and relax. Just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. I promise. I'm here. Don't worry. I am definitely a doctor. 
Just keep keep your eyes closed for a moment. Uh, everything's okay. Just deep breaths. Deep breaths. Everything's going to be just fine. Uh, let's see. I should probably uh, check your breathing, your 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 lungs, and your your heart. Um, but they took my stethoscope. I, perhaps, um, I will need to listen to your, your chest area and your heart and your lungs, um, but hold on one moment. Ooh. All right, I'm going to just listen very carefully. Uh, this year might be a little bit better. Uh, do you mind taking a deep breath for me? Inhale. Exhale. You're doing great. One more time, please. Inhale. Exhale. All right, well, uh, you certainly are breathing. <clears throat> And uh, your heart is definitely going whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, it seems to be going at a rather quick pace, though. So that is something that we are definitely going to need to slow down. So if you could just slow your heart down, that would be great while I get a few things ready. Um, just slow your heart down. Just, you know, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. As opposed to whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 like you're doing. Okay, well, if you need some help with that, uh, I suppose you could just sit up straight and get comfortable, and we're just going to take a few more deep breaths to try and relax. Was that so hard? Relax. Relax, 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 relax. You're having a hard time, I can tell. It's okay. Everything is going to be okay. But I would like to test that breathing. Because something... Seems a bit off. Now, I believe, well, we've already used this. You could breathe into, mm, that doesn't seem to be helpful. Uh, I have my notebook again, once again. Um, how about this? Uh, I'm sure there's something lying around that will be able to help us. And perhaps, ah, oh, this, yes. I believe they left this behind when they repossessed the air conditioner uh, but this tube should be just fine so what we're going to do is we're going to test your breathing all right so I'm going to give you this oh uh, yes of course thank you this is the thermometer's off the thermometer doesn't turn back on I think the batteries are dead. Well, anyway, we're on to another thing. So we're going to give you this tube. Just stick this right there. Just wrap your lips around that and uh, keep it nice and tight. And you're going to breathe into the tube. Does that make sense? No, no, don't, don't, don't give it back. You're going to breathe. You're going to breathe into the tube and I'm going to feel it. You're going to breathe into the tube and I will test the strength of your breath based on the amount of wind that is generated through the tube onto my face. Yes, this is highly scientific, very technical, highly scientific, very technical. Don't mind. I, we don't have time to explain it all. 
but you're just going to have to trust me. All right? When I say go, exhale. Ready? Go. Are you, are you going? I don't really feel anything. Yeah. Like that. you see? All right. Now, one more time. Ready? Really give it a go. One, two. Go. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Thank you. Yes, that is fine. Um, I think you did it. I think, uh, well, we can just get rid of that. Uh, I think you did a great job. I could feel it. I could smell it a little bit. Um, have you just had lunch? Yeah, yeah, okay, yes. Um, well, no matter, it means that your, your lungs are doing okay. And that's really what we're here to test. We're here to make sure that your lungs are okay. And now that your lungs are verified in tip-top shape, I think you're good to go. You still feel dizzy and confused. Still feel confused and dizzy. Lightheaded? Well, that might be from the breathing into a tube. I understand. All right. Well, okay. Let me, um, let me see. Um, I'm going to use the pointer again, but this time I'm going to reach forward. I'm going to touch your face, okay? Could you feel that? Could you feel that? You couldn't feel that. Could you feel that? No. Yeah, can you hold out your arms for me? Straight like this. No, 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 S straight. Oh, this is, I think this might be very serious. Oh, but not something I can't handle. I am, of course, a very real doctor. Uh, all right, well, uh, based on these extensive tests and highly loose, conclusive, excuse me, uh, results, is, I think you're in mortal danger. I believe the illness that you're suffering from might be terminal. It certainly seems that way. I think you suffer from some sort of mental degradation. Uh, physical neuro pathways seem to be shutting down right before our very eyes. And I truly believe, given my extensive medical knowledge, that you might be dying. But it's not to worry, because I'm a very real doctor, and I can help. Now, how do I help? Allergy tablets. Perhaps you could take an allergy tablet. Perhaps this uh, well is just an allergy. Something to keep in mind. We're going to give you one tablet, an allergy tablet, right there. Go ahead and take that. Very good. Hold that for a moment. Sinus and congestion. Perhaps there's just a lot of buildup here, and it's causing your brain to show up and die. Maybe. Take, take, take those. Um, I've heard that vitamin C is good for pretty much everything, so just take that whole bottle. And then, uh, we don't have any water, um, but we do have this bottle of toner. And I think that this might be the ticket. So, let's go ahead and take those pills, wash that down. Yep, absolutely, this is 100% a very legitimate prescription from a very legitimate doctor. 
Um, I only took my glasses off because I actually can see better that way. Uh, those aren't really uh, prescription glasses, or at least not for me. Uh, but they tend to make me look smarter, so I wear them during examinations. Um, good. All right. Now the... Yep, go ahead and take another uh, sinus and congestion medicine. Good, 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 good. Um, and now the vitamin C. Yep, as much of the bottle as, you, as you'd like. Um, good. Now, uh, all that being said, uh, I am going to need to give you some lotion as well, if this bottle would ever cooperate. There we go. One, two, three droplets. Very good. All right. And we're just going... Give me your hands. Good. Trust me, this is very important. Very important to the healing process. Uh, our hands interact with just about everything every day. Uh, we use them to interact with the world, and if our hands are unhealthy and not moisturized, well, what's life, am I right? So, now that you've had your hands moisturized, you've taken the medicine, you've drank it out, the things. It might be best for this next part if you were to try and go to sleep. Now, I know that this is a highly sensitive time in your life, uh, soon to be ending life, that is, unless we do what we do, but I do believe that being asleep might be beneficial in this moment. Now, I understand that you might be a little bit stressed, so how about we do some sleep exercise? that I learned that might help you. No, you may not see my diploma from my doctor school, medical school. Why would you ask about that right now? All right. You're going to count down from ten in your mind. I will count out loud from 10, since we only proved you knew up to 5 earlier, I will make sure we do this right. And I will count down from 10 to 1, and at 1, you'll just go to sleep. Alright? You'll just go to sleep. Okay. Good. Excellent. Now, uh, shall I begin? Good. Remember the breathing from earlier? We're going to do that again. Okay, ready? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. sleep now. It's going to be okay. Definitely has nothing to do with the fact that you took a whole bunch of random medicines from a complete stranger in the heat of the moment. You're going to sleep now, and when you wake up, you're going to feel rested and recovered from whatever it is that ails you. Probably. Sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, when you wake up, if you don't mind just locking the door behind you, I will probably be the next town over anyway. Have a great rest of your life. Good night.